just came from Houston, Texas. I got here super late last night and then rushed in this morning, so I'm really excited to be here. This is my sixth year attending the ASGCT meeting. The first time I attended it, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I'm a physician scientist, but I'm also a clinician. This is our 22nd time that we've exhibited here at ASGCT, and every year we've tried to present data and get together with people from all the different sectors that are here. I, I wouldn't miss it for any other reason. It's just a great opportunity to be here. I was in grad school at the time of my first meeting and I was completely like in awe and, and, and completely lost seeing all these amazing scientists that you read about in all the papers, but you get to put a, a, you know, a face to a name and it's really exciting. I am Guangping Gao and I am the president for ASGCT. I have been a member of ASGCT since 1996. Now we are entering a most exciting time of the field. I am very enthusiastic for the future. This society truly has the perfect balance of basic science, translational aspects, and clinical. So as a physician scientist, as I've grown through my career, I feel like I've taken more advantage of different things that ASGCT has to offer. Being an, you know, an introverted scientist can, can sometimes be a little overwhelming, but I'm still excited to interact with all the scientists at the poster session. As you walk around, you see the raw data for the first time you're seeing that. That's what I look forward to. The networking opportunities are in the hallways because uh, we're always meeting new people from these different sectors and it's a great chance to be introduced to somebody at a different level that can help out depending on whether you're at the early stage investigator who's in academia or a big person in pharmaceutical industry. It's a great opportunity for everybody to get together and that's what we need is a good mix and we've got it. This really let us see the future of the society, the future of the gene and the cell therapy. From an initial proof of concept research to clinical reality and commercialization, the gene therapy will become a, a form of next generation medicine for our patients. This society is extremely important. This meeting is, is really important. I've watched the field evolve and the society meet that evolution every single year. From where we are now to where we were about five or six years ago, the sky is the limit. I remember when we started out and we just had a few hundred people at the first meeting in Seattle. That was an exciting moment. And then every year since has been to build on that moment. But gene therapy is kind of like the other biologics movements that came before it. They all took about 20 or 25 years to really get to a point where we could say, we're having fun. And you know, we're at that moment now, so maybe this is the moment. <laughs>